Guys, it finally happened. I popped myself. Welcome to Teacup for One. My name is Matt and I have two degrees and welcome to another long overdue Teacup for One Funko Pop unboxing. But today, the pop I'm unboxing is me. <laughs> That's right, everyone. If you're in the Funko Pop community, you probably knew that this was coming. Funko, for the last few years, they've been offering the opportunity for Funko fans to pop themselves, which I know sounds kind of risque, but it's, it's actually completely innocent and a lot of fun. You could go to the Funko Pop store, either in Washington or in Hollywood, and they had these amazing kiosks set up. You got to like create your Funko Pop, and then they would custom make it, and like they'd give it to you. And for the longest time, that was only available to do in person. But over the past year, they've rolled it out to be something that anyone can do on the internet as long as they had a US mailing address and lucky me even though I'm a Canadian I have a US mailing address so I went on the website I made my Funko Pop mat and now it's here and I'm gonna open it and we're gonna share this moment together and I'm gonna warn you he probably doesn't look the way you expect him to look but We'll get to that shortly. First, let's do a little Funko Pop unboxing warm up because I also have this very exciting package which just made its way to me all the way from Australia from my good friend Mark who has sent me some cool stuff in the past. We love Mark, Marku in Japan, quality Japan content. But this came from Australia, so we're gonna open this up first. But before I open it up, I just wanna take a moment to like give a shout out to the Australian Postal Services because this bubble wrap is really cool. It has, it. I don't wanna show you my address. It has a picture and a biography of somebody who I'm guessing is a notable Australian. It's kind of like a Birdie's Bots Every Flavored Beans card, but for Australians. Let's, let's learn a little bit of history before I open this up. Born in Western Australia, Mary Bell began painting Australian native flora. Oh my gosh, I get it. She's probably the person who painted the bag. Mary Bell began painting Australian native flora in 1974 using oils and techniques similar to those of 17th century Dutch floral artists. Her superbly realistic images express their brilliant color and forms with exceptional clarity and botanical accuracy. As one of Australia's foremost still life floral artists, Meryl's paintings are featured in notable private collections around the world and also on this packaging. Okay, well, let's open up the Mary Bell um, bubble wrap package. Ooh. <gasps> oh. Mark wrapped it. This is so nice. And it has reindeer, because Merry Christmas. Okay. He used a lot of tape, too. Oh my god. He fashioned a Funko Pop box out of what appears to be Zuper Duper. What is Zuper Duper? Oh, they're like freezies. They're like Australian freezies. Open it up. Yes. Oh, he's so cool. It's Steve Irwin with Crocodile. So this is from the Australia Zoo, home of the Crocodile Hunter. I'm not sure if this is like an exclusive figure to Australia or the Australian Zoo, but I for one have never seen a Steve Irwin figure in my local Funko Pop retailer, so... This is so cool. And I love that he has the alligator. It actually kind of reminds me of President Loki holding the gator, except in that pop, I think the gator is biting his hand off. I wasn't able to get my hands on it, but it doesn't matter because I have Steve Irwin. I love him. Thank you, Mark. And now the time has come. Let's open up Funko Pop Matthew. I'm actually very curious to see what kind of condition this pop is in. Because after I ordered it, I got super excited to see what other people's pop yourself experiences were like. And when you look up pop yourself reviews on YouTube, they're not great. Actually, they're actively bad. There's a lot of very negative, very angry, and not without reason videos of people unboxing their pops and there's damages to the pops, the boxes are totally crushed, and seemingly there's a track record of all the pieces not being completely secured onto the figure. Like, it kind of looks like they come as Mr. Potato Men style, where it's a Funko Pop that just has hair plopped on. So, I, I don't know, I'm nervous, but I'm excited. I'm excited and scared. Okay. I'm one of one. I'm one of one. There are millions of ways to create a pop, but only one you. 
they're really going all out on the presentation on this thing. I thought I was just going to open it up and the pop would be there, but like, oh, moment of truth. Okay, I'm going to do the thing. I'm going to let you see it first before I look. Ready? One, two, three. Funko Pop Matthew. It's like looking into a mirror! Now, the box is in good condition, but I'm glad I went with the pop protector because even though I'm not anti taking pops out of the box, I, I definitely want to display Funko Pop Matthew in the box. But, one time. It wouldn't hurt to take a look at him out of the box one time, right? Right? Right. They put stickers on the pop protector as if to say, don't take it out of the box. But do I look like a rule follower? I do, and I am, but I don't care. I want to. I want to meet Funko Pop Matthew. Oh, interesting. Interesting. So you can have the box labeled with whatever you want, and I chose my first and last name. One thing I'm noticing is that they don't print your name directly on the box. It's actually a sticker that they just throw on the box. So once again, I feel like this is definitely something that's not meant to be taken out of the box because if you look at the fine details, the magic, like it doesn't go away, but it decreases. Okay. I think Matthew's Funko Pop feet are glued to the interior plastic. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh, he's so cool. Look at him. I'm going to say first impression. Like, I'm very happy with the security of this packaging. In some of those other Pop Yourself reviews that I've seen, the Pop is just like flailing around inside the box. This is secure. It's almost too secure. I don't even know if I can remove the cats because I think they're glued to the plastic. Oh, okay, 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 update. This is actually a really smart move. The glue is just like permanent sticky tack style. So I could take Funko Pop Matthew out of the packaging, play with him, and then put him back in the box. That sounded weird. The big takeaway. Yes, there is glue in this paw protector, but it's kind of like glue that would secure flyers to TV guides back in the day. You can stick it back and the glue will hopefully still hold. So, there he is. Can I remove the cats? That's the big question. Yes. Come on. Oh. The glue is much harder to remove from the, the pet accessories. I added... I, no, I'm just gonna leave them in the box, whatever, I don't care. I added two cats for an additional fee, and they have the same glue, except seemingly the glue is more secured to the base of the cat than it is to the plastic, and I don't know, I, I don't wanna, I don't wanna sacrifice the integrity of the cats by ripping them out of the plastic, so just rest assured, I got a gray cat and a black cat, because for the entirety of my life, I've always had some variation of a black cat and a gray cat. I've had tuxedo cats, I've had pure black cats, I've had a gray tabby, I have a pure gray cat, so just, I don't know, having a black cat and a gray cat accessory was very important to me just to represent all the pets I've had in my life and will hopefully continue to have in my life, so they're not any specific cat, they are all of my cats, they are all of Matt's cats. One thing I will note also about these cats, like I guess it's one thing if you're not able to remove the pet from the packaging. However, I did notice that when this is in the display box, that cardboard strip on the left-hand side of the box when you're looking at it is unfortunately obstructing the view of the adorable pet. So that is one thing worth noting. But let's talk about Funko Pop Matthew. There's more mobility with this pop than there is with a typical Funko Pop. I mean, with some Funko Pops, you do have the option to spin the head around, and it looks like you can do that with this pop as well. But also, the arms go up and down. I don't want to adjust them because I really like the positioning that the Funko Pop came in and I kind of want to maintain this stance for when I have him on display, but that is an option that's available to you. I'm also pleasantly surprised by the hair, like this hair is secured onto this head pretty well. And again, I saw all those videos where it looked like people were sent Mr. Potato Heads where the hair could just come right off. I'm sure if I pulled hard enough that would happen, but I'm, I'm not going to do that. But look, I, I could do this and it is clear to me that they did just like snap the legs into the shirt, but of course that's how they make these. You mix and match the pieces. I didn't expect a fully bespoke <laughs> Funko Pop of me. Like all in all, I'm really happy with this. I'm so happy with this, but I'm gonna give you a closer view and I'm just gonna 
talk you through why I made the design choices with this pop that I made. Because if you look at Funko Pop Matthew, he might not look like the Matthew that you're accustomed to seeing on your screen every once in a while in these videos. Admittedly, when I was planning to make my Matthew Funko Pop, I thought it would end up looking a little something more like this. Yes, I did use the AI <laughs> Funko Pop template to make a custom teacup for one Matthew Funko Pop, but... Funko didn't really present me with the options to have this outfit. They didn't have a flat cap option. They didn't have an option of a blazer over top of a t-shirt. But what they did have was this delightful red flannel. And what they also had was a hobby horse. And what they also had was a diploma. When I realized I could mix those things, it just felt so quintessentially me. And the reason for that is because before starting this channel, I spent seven, almost eight years working at this really fun, kooky dinner theater in Niagara Falls called O Canada A. I was a singing lumberjack. Every summer I got to throw on a red flannel and sing Canadian folk songs while dressing up like a fisherman or a hockey player or a coureur de voix and teaching people about Canada through the music of the country. And it was, it was a really fun job, and one of the greatest scenes was that we did the Mountie musical ride from this old musical called Rosemary, and the Mounties rode throughout the Log Cabin Theater using hobby horses. So for a good chunk of my life, I wore red plaid every day, paraded around with a hobby horse, <laughs> and when I was backstage, I would just kind of look in the mirror, laugh, and think, wow, the people that I went to acting school with are doing Shakespeare right now. And here I am with my hobby horse. I have two degrees. And so that's why he's holding a diploma and a hobby horse and has red flannel. It's me. <laughs> it's me and I love him. I really hope Funko rolls out more design options, specifically a flat cap and a blazer with a t-shirt underneath so that I can do the teacup for one era of Matters of Funko Pop. But even if they don't, I'm so happy with this, everyone. This combined with those two cats, it's Matt in a box. Uh, so overall review, would I recommend popping yourself? Yes, why wouldn't you? Even if you're not an avid Funko Pop collector, Funko Pops have such a place in the public consciousness as this fun thing because like they represent everyone's favorite franchises. And so if you're able to make a Funko Pop of yourself or of a loved one to give as a gift, I know I'm sounding like it's a commercial. It's seriously not. Funko has no idea who I am. They're not paying me to make this video. They didn't even give me this for free. I paid a lot of money for this when you convert it into Canadian, but worth it. So I personally cannot recommend this enough. Like if there are options within the wardrobe that you feel match your personality, your history, your overall aesthetic, go for it. There's nothing more special than looking at yourself as a Funko Pop with one of his two degrees. Anyway, friends, with that, this concludes yet another episode of Teacup for One. Now, let me know in the comment section down below, have you popped yourself? Would you pop yourself? And what accessory would you pick for your Funko Pop? Would it be a hobby horse in a degree? If so, we're Pop Twinsies. And if you want to be the first to know when I release more videos talking about Funko Pops, movies, Disney, Shakespeare, cats, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed already. And if you haven't subscribed already, it is so easy. All you have to do is click on my face. Thanks for joining me today, everyone. My name is Matt, and I have two degrees, and that's the tea cup for one.